Hello everyone, this is Professor Zero and I'm back with another um, news weekly news review. So uh, a lot of things has come up since yesterday and well since last week. Um about token run pool as well as some of the new cards we're getting for the TD, uh, well for the start decks uh, like Ram Grace, Five New Office. So a lot of good support this time round. So for this time we uh, like for last Thursday's stream we actually have like a token run pool set order coming in right here right now um we just kind of great uh, there's like a, a lot of like complicated new support for Tokyo Rambo in near future so yeah so I can see people are trying to like picking up this deck once this entire set is released which is by the end of this June uh, like end of this month by the way um so yeah I think we I think this video is gonna be a little bit long so I'm not gonna waste any more time but before that um get any, like uh get straight into the news but before that uh if you do like my content and well like what I'm doing here do like to subscribe and yeah let's get straight into the news itself. So first off we have the training tools which is a set order for token run pool. So this time around it's a great tree, it's a double ray. So judging by the like the amount of text that we are seeing right here is going to be very complicated. So uh, so what this skill, uh, what this skill does is that if you can have a total of five cards in your right deck made up of these cards, three cards from grade zero, grade two, and a unique card from Kiwami. It's card name, and this card is put face up. So technically speaking, um, five cards in the right deck, zero, one, two, three. But the grade three cannot have uh, like Kiwami, so you have to be like a like a normal grade three of Kiwami, and then this card uh, will be in the right deck, but you'll be face face up. Okay, so that's what it is. So right deck, when you stand up the Vanguard, uh, you put it card into your order zone, choose a unique card from Kiwami from the cards your right deck, put it into your order zone face up, and then it undergoes training, right? So something that's then gimmick. So it's the Kiwami grade tree, the non-Kiwami grade tree that you're going to put into the order zone when you stand up. So something it's like something like monster box levels of Gacha Redora, like you have when you stand up you can or like open a monster box something along those lines so it's something similar to that effect all right so continuous order zone your vanguard loses all of its auto and act abilities which is really really funny uh, but there is a reason to it which we get straight into it um a continuous order zone you cannot normal write from your hand and when you write a card from your deck you may uh, you may write without discarding a card from your hand which is like super great because uh, it, you really don't you can really probably like conserve a lot of hand size with this uh like the normal right uh, like like discarding the card and then you write it so because that's how it is usually we tend to discard a card and then you just write it but this time around you don't really have to discard it so i think it's a really like a uh, very interesting gimmick right here and then order zone in act if there are no cards in your right deck and you did not write during this turn you put one of your cards in your trading into your soul search your deck all from your hand for up to one card that contains the name of the card put in the soul by this effect and has Kiwami in its card name, write it as then and if you search your deck, so shuffle your deck. If you roll, you put this card into your soul and you get a press according to your Vanguard's race. Okay, I know this is very complicated, but this is how it uh, how it goes. Um, if there are no cards in the right deck, okay, this is a mean feast deal, okay, and you did not break during this turn, um, you put that red tree um, non Kiwami card that I mentioned earlier, you put into your soul, you search for a different card name that has a Kiwami. Um, and it contains the name of the card, which means that if you like say for example um Munichika, okay, if, if you don't have a like a Munichika um uh, Kiwami will be there and then you move it in and then you just write um uh Munichika Kiwami from your hand or from your deck and then you just write it. If you search your deck, shuffle your deck, if you roll, put this card into the soul, the order card, which is the training, and you get the press according to your main dance race. So this is when everything um, starts exploding into a lot of complicated stuff because uh, what we're going to uh, get into right now is that uh, you every um, every like clan, I mean like not call unquote clan, every like sword will get their own levels of crystal like Uchi, uh, Uchigata or something or like Katana or like and then we have Naginata and Yari or something along, along those lines and then you get a crest based on that right so that's how it works um, so as you can see uh, how they usually do it is because like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 you can see here with the right deck okay and so you can see there is no uh, Kiwami and then you just write the Kiwami from the deck and uh, and 
all from your hand. So zero, one, two, three, it doesn't matter. Uh, but you can put the continuous card in fact because the the order card it just requires that uh, stipulates that your vanguard loses all your point, or like auto and uh, act abilities. But of course, you can play like are there any other like you want, uh, like uh, any other continuous effect cards if you so wish to. Um, so yeah, the other right deck is comprised of grades from 0, 1 to 2, the trading set order and the card with Okiwa meets card name, we've mentioned that. And then when you stand up your fifth token dungeon and the training, which is basically your your grade 3, like your grade 3, when you write your grade 3 instead, you put your token dungeon in training into your soul, you search it for Kiwami, right in stand and get the crest based on the swap type. So all of the token dungeon of any grade can be used of uh, can be used as your vanguard when they undergo training. So um, so if it's a grade zero, uh, let's say Toshiro is a Tanto, so he gets an ability of Tanto Kiwami Crest. So that's how it's supposed to be. And then uh, Wakizashi, so he gets the Kiwami, uh, Wakizashi Kiwami Crest. And then Kotetsu Uch uh, Uchikatana, so he gets the Ki uh, Crest and etc. Right. So that's how it works. Okay. Um, now we're getting into the segment of what I call like the crest, uh, crest effect. So all of the crest uh, for token Rambu for the first two effects basically is the same for everything. It applies to everything. Um, so we have like Tanto, uh, Tanto's crest. Uh, so I will mention the first two skills first, and then the rest is very different. Uh, the rest will be very different, but the first two re stays relatively the same. Uh, so which means that you cannot write a card with a different card name as your main card. So you cannot write any other like plan. You you cannot have like write like say, uh, I don't know. I put it Cortez because I'm not very good at Sokka Rambo. Let's say if you put any other different grade three, and then you write on Munichika, that's a no no because uh, you cannot write a different name. So all cards with the same name as your main card becomes grade three with power 13k plus one uh, plus one crit. Drive persona right and the following abilities below, um, which yeah. So what this means is that um, let's say for example, L, let's say if you have a grade two that has shares like the ability of like the same thing as a member, it gets the uh, grade three, um, uh, grade become grade three units, thirteen k base, get one uh, get one crit, double drive, uh, like green drive persona right. But and it loses all its original abilities, power, and shoot value, which means that if it's uh, originally a 5k, it will no longer be a 5k. If it's a 10k, it's now a 13k. Or original part of it will be lost. So that's how everything the press goes. Um, uh, the first two effects continuous. Um, but for Tanto, um, a press skill is that auto when this vanguard attacks, you can't last one. And for that battle, your opponent cannot forget one greater cards from hand to GC, something like Chrono Jet levels effect. Um, yeah, so continuous vanguard skill during your opponent's main phase, all of your rearguards cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effect. So, this is technically an anti gun diva deck in a sense. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like very funny as well. So, yeah, it's like, un like you can see, like Hanto's press is there. Yeah. Uh, so, I think yeah, that's, that's how it is. And then we have Wakisa uh, Wakisashi. Uh, still the same thing for the first two skills. So for Wakizashi is the auto vanguard and then at the start of your battle phase all of your regards must have game. So power buff to all of them. And auto once per turn when this unit is attacked. Okay, so this is only like once per turn, something like Baba's are levels of ruling. So you counter plus one reveal the top card of your deck, add it to your hand, and for the battle increase this unit's power by the reveal card's original ship value. So let's say for example, um your Wakizashi Vanguard is being attacked and you come to the last one, this is just once per turn, come to the last one, you reveal the top card of your deck. Let's say for example it's a 30k show that you can uh, add it to your power, um, increase this uh, unit's power by the revealed original shield. Let's say it's a 15k show, so you add it to a, like a 13k so it becomes a 28 power. Uh, yeah, so basically it allows you to like I either like kind of like block that attack or you just uh, easily the, just like make your opponent's vanguard attacks like uh, you know not very uh, doesn't really hit because let's say for example if a 13k swings your 13k vanguard and then you use the skill you get a 15k check then that, if that attack effectively is not uh, you know not valid I would say uh, so that's how it is uh, so it would be pretty funny because the, the fact that you can actually like fracture and over trigger you know not, not, not 
Josh Chen. You just reveal the old trigger and 50k shield and BAM! Okay, so that's kind of like gone. Uh, but it will be added to your hand as well, so I think that is like, kind of good, so can't complain. Um, uh, Uchikatana uh, Crest will be uh, the Vanguard skill when this unit attacks. You come the last one. Choose one of your regards, re restand it and uh, casting here until the end of battle, so something along the lines of like. Uh, Resender for Uchikatana, and then after that, once per turn, then your uh, when your rear guard is being attacked, uh, when your rear guard is attacked, you can so plus one, and all of your rear guards cannot be retired even when hit until the end of the battle. So it's quite nice that, say, for example, if like your opponents want to swing your rear guard, and then you just so plus one, and all of your rear guards just does not get hit. So it's kind of like anti Lena as well, something along those lines. Or like something like Vermilion, uh, uh, which is kind of, kind of like very good as well. It's like anti Vermilion, uh, in in like a lot of sense. So pretty good for Uchikatana. But I think like for me, the best ones will be still Tanto because it's technically anti Tanto. You know? Um, that's about it. And then we have O Tachi, um, press um same same two continuous skills. So Vanguard, uh, still is that when this we need attacks. This unit plus 10k until the end of battle, then so counter plus one, choose one of your great three rear guards and stand it, so something along the same lines as with the Uchika panels. So technically a restander, but this time will be very specific. So this one is only for the great tree. Um the whereas this one you can just restand or one of your rear guards as well, so it's kind of good. Um so yeah, so when this unit attack hits the like, vanguard, uh discard the top card of your deck and if it's a trigger unit, it's discard the choose one of your opponent's vanguard and deal it one damage. Um for me this skill is kind of like air and iffy at the same time because you always get the 50-50 chance of whether or not you like um, discard a trigger and tr trigger unit. It's something like the, along the lines of like great nature at the time. Uh, but the the fact that about like dealing the damage when it's a trigger unit makes it like very scary as well. So um, for me, I think this crush is still meh and it's very RNG based. So I'm not sure whether or not if it's really good if you have like an Otachi or uh, Vanguard, but still you can always test your luck because that's how it got this. Okay, um, yeah, it's it's kind of like a waste of the trigger, but nonetheless, um, yeah, imagine if you discard the OT, that would be sad, okay. Um, and then we have the new, I would say, um, in card reveal for this set. So this is like uh, Toshiro Kiwami hit Shinano Toshiro Kiwami. So he's a Tanto. Uh, when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, so you come up last one to put this unit in the soul. This is in the rear guard, by the way. Um, you draw a card, you choose one of your real opponent's rear guard and you fight it. So kind of nice because you can just uh, soul charge, draw one, ref uh, like retiring. So it's quite nice, but it's a rear guard skill and it has to hit a Vanguard. So early rush is what it is. For this card, I can see the potential there. And then after that, we have uh, Mono Yoshi Sada Mune Kiwami. Uh, he's a wa Wakizashi, so uh, rear guard and continue. Uh, rear guard and guardian support continuous. She can be Sansu, basically leaving a break tree. This unit gets intercept and can intercept on the back row at plus 5k. So something along like uh, Gear Zero from the Gear Chronicle set. Uh, so pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah. I, but I'm not sure if like people will play this card, but I have a feeling it's not. The funny thing about this card is that this card is actually like a double rare, so we'll see how many people will play this card in Token Run Go. Um so that's about it. And then after that we have Naka Sonic or Tetsuki Mami. Uh that this unit uh rear guard continues, this unit plus 10k, which is also active on opponents to uh turn as well. So he's a uh, continuously 20k beater 20k on opponent's turn. So it will be very hard to like try to attack him and he's gonna be like very buff during the turn as well. Uh, if you did not attack a total of three or more times during this turn, this unit cannot attack. So it's kind of like uh there's a restriction there, but I think with most talent decks, you can easily make up to 3 attacks. So this one is not a problem, so he's a double red as well. So yeah, I can see I can see this is a, like, potentially a good card to play with as well. Um, very, like, very good with uh, Monechika because like, Monechika can do 5 attacks and then he's there and then he can easily swing for 10k. So kind of nice. Um, and then after that is the card of the day. Uh, we have the T1 I think this one is during the stream and whatnot. Um, uh, yeah, but I mean like still you still have like Hotaru, uh, Hotaru Maru Kiwami. So he's an old Tachi. Um, 
I will down once per turn when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, counter plus one, rest one of the real cards and stun this unit. So kind of something like a budget mm, discount commander Laurel. Uh, so attack hits. So this is a basically a great tree, I would say. Uh, yeah, so attack hits a Vanguard, so counter plus one. It's all, only once per turn, so it's a great tree. So that's about it. And then when this unit stands during your battle phase, uh, this unit gets 5k until the end of the turn. If you have the crest, the old Hachi crest, it gets 10k instead of 5k. So uh, kind of good as well because for the great tree. Uh, and then we have old Hachi. Old Hachi, like I said, uh, restands the great tree, so it's kind of like very specific. So he gets a 10k, so he's swinging for 20 tree, so it's quite good. Um, so he has a Vanguard Rig. Uh, no. He's a rear guard skill. Oh, he's a rear guard. Okay, he's a rear guard skill, not a vanguard skill. Okay, yeah, but yeah, still, still the same. Okay, uh, he, he, he still get the restand. He gets still the restand during stand during a battle phase plus ten. Yeah, so so he swings for like thirteen, then if attack hits, then he restands plus ten three. Yeah, the plus ten becomes a three attacker. So that's about it. And then we have Kashu Kiyomitsu, okay, uh, Kiwami Sento, so he's a Uchi Katana. Uh, this unit is also regarded as uh, Kiyomitsu Kiwami, so continuous and regard skill. So if you have the, the same Kiwami, yeah, so it's the same name. So auto Vanguard once per turn. If you persona route during this turn, this unit uh, this cost may be played with counter plus one. At the end of the battle, then this unit attack. You discard one card from your hand and put a card with the same name as this unit from uh, as your rear guard from your rear uh, from your rear on hand until so restart it or and increase or decrease this unit's critical and drive to one until the end of this turn. If there are two or more great three cards with Kashu Kiyomitsu in its card name in your soul until the end of turn, this unit gets auto Vanguard once per turn at the end of the battle that this unit attack. Kind of last one, um, stun this unit and it gets drive minus one until the end of turn. Okay, so something along like the. Uh, it kind of like reminds me of Eugene when, when it comes to say like Ospo, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So technically speaking, you can, uh, like for all intents and purposes, you could have to play like for Kiyomitsu Kiwami in like. In this in this deck, right? So the you have the four Sentos and then you have the four here, Kiyomitsu. So so basically speaking, that he gets the three standard skill, but because if you have the uh, so you, as long as you persona road during this uh, turn, you can you cost you play the cost of like CD one and then you restand. Uh, then you discard one card and then you just move like one Kashu uh, like Kiyomitsu. Um, the Kiwami from your rear gun or from your hand, you move it to the soul, restand, increase the drive plus all the like to one. Uh, so that's how it is. So it's drive check. Uh, I think you can basically restand twice if I'm not mistaken, because I think he can restand twice though, right? Really restand and then until in his suit and toe or more. Um, this unit that uh, okay. I think he okay only restand once, but I think it's because of the once per turn effect that you counter blast one and then you restand get strike minus one. So he twin drives, restand, and then you drive minus one. Okay, and then you can increase the drive to increase or uh, decrease the drive to like critical and drive to one. So like, technically something like Eugene plus Oswald. Uh, yeah, so kind of nice as well for the restander. Uh, drive minus one and uh, technically good. Um, I'm not sure, but you can correct me after this. Like, I'm pretty sure he can only stand once. Um, but I think if because the clause is that like the end of the sentence, like uh, you have the full stop there, and then if there are two or more great cards until the end of turn, so uh, yeah, I'm implying that he's gonna get like once per turn, like for the restand, uh, so and so on. Uh, yeah, I think, or I think you can just restand twice. But yeah, I think you can restand twice. I, um, but you can correct me on that. So I'm not sure about the ruling. But we can just try to brush through that. Okay, so we have Yasusada Kiwani. So he's Uchi Katana as well. Um, he's a great tool and he's a double rare. Okay, and Kiyomitsu is a triple rare confirmed. Uh, any restanders with a Vanguard, then you know. Um, I mean, like Kiyomitsu is a really popular card in, in Token Rambo. He's a popular character in Token Rambo, so yeah, I, he gets a triple rare. Alright, so we have Yasusada Kiwami. Uh, so we have Uchi Katana as well, and this unit is placed on the rear guard circle. You have counter plus one. You look at the top seven cards of your deck, you choose up to one with Kashu Kiyomitsu in his card name for a long 
real with it and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. If you did not reveal the card, you choose one Kiyomitsu in its deep in, uh, from your drop zone and add it to your hand. And if you have a Vanguard with uh, continuous regard skill, if you have a Kiyomitsu Vanguard uh, in its card name, stands by card effect, uh, this will make plus 10k. So basically, what he does is that uh, on place regard counter plus one look pop seven find Kiyomitsu, add it to your hand. If you did not put it to your hand, you just choose one card from your drop in your soul. Uh, like, the, like drop and then you put it back in your hand, not to your soul. Okay, so thereby ensuring that you have a consistency with Kiyomitsu, which is quite nice as well. Um, and then plus 10k if your Kiyomitsu restands, so 10k meter and Kiyomitsu searcher, so he's quite good, yeah, quite nice. Uh, and then after that we have Kane Sada Kiwami Sugisa Uchikapata So he's a great 2, real guard continuous and a triple rare Okay so um, during your turn if there's a great 1 or less real guard in the same column as this unit This unit plus 5k so 15k um, uh, attacker provided you have a great 1 or less real guard in the same column as him So front row real guard when your great 3 or greater Kiyomitsu or Yoshi's, uh, Yoshi Yuki in his card name type, you put this card at the bottom of your deck for the boss, draw one card, choose one of your, choose one of your vanguards and vanguards plus 5k and hit out battle. So, pretty good as well, you, need, like, you can just pot deck and then you can draw one card and then power, buff up your Kiyobitsu. So, mm, you know, it's quite, it's quite nice, it's quite good. Um, after that we have uh, Kunihiro Kiwami, yeah he's also very popular for Wakisashi, for Wakisashi. So he's a great one and he's a triple rare. Right? Okay, when this unit is placed on Rekha Circle, if you have great tree or greater vanguard, he doesn't specify like whatever team it is. Like whatever like uh whether it's like old Hachi or whatever, as long as you have a great tree or greater vanguard. Um you can't have one search your deck for up to one with what card if uh Kane Sada it's can't even call it to Rekhan and Shafi. So yeah, Kanesada is, is this one. So I mean technically speaking you could I mean it's technically a Kion Mitsu support, you know, for Wakisashi support I think. Or like Uchikatana, but nonetheless, um hmm, this is a very interesting card because like you can technically you can play this in like Nichika but then you can also like kinda of, like put it in there but nonetheless uh, the fact that he doesn't really want to specify like the name or whatever, but I think you can just call it the regard and then you can just use the proper skills. So kind of nice. Again, Shinken Hisatsu on auto regard when your other regard is or other regard is placed in the same column as this unit, so Khan is other. Um other than from hand, uh, so you have to call pick uh, deck or by order effect if that is in the future. If you have a great tree or greater vanguard with Clash of Kiyomitsu, so he is a Kiyomitsu support, and or Yoshi Yuki is part in this unit that plays in the past 5k and you're in the top So let's say, for example, if Kanisada is like Kanisada is placed on the regard circle, so he gets a 5k as well, extra 5k, so plus Kanisada skill plus in the 5k. So, so Kanisada is 20k, 20k, uh, 20k attacker. So it's kind of nice, kind of nice for this one. So I can see the combos coming in already. So it's good. Uh, for Kunihiro as well. So yeah. Alright, so next week's Docker 1 we have Token Rambu. Um uh 23 we're building a total of 10 cards including Hachisuka Kotetsu, Kiwami Central as well as the uh, Kiwami Crest for Tachi, Yari and Naginata. So this tree has not been coming up, but yeah, it will come next Thursday. Um I'm probably not gonna go through the card of the day as well. I think these are all like super common cards, uh, which I can just easily just brush through. I'm sorry, but yeah. But this one is kind of like good for some someone Jin Kiwami, so he's the touchy card. Um, the reason why I want to highlight it is because like every got one to return you so plus two, you choose up to one someone Jin. It's card name is set for the someone Jin Kiwami. Call it Rega plus five k at the end of the turn, so he's like. Basically, if I think you can have like two of this one, but I think you just like call whatever someone J. Uh, so he's a bot filler for for someone J. So it's good. Uh, when you drive check a trigger unit, so much one choose on front row regards. Yeah, someone J. Yeah, so you can call this someone J as well. Drive check. So on like break one, just drive check trigger unit, so last one. Retiring, quite good. So the combo is there. And yeah, and then there's a lot of like someone G cards this time around. And then we have the Vanguard Zero's uh Guardian Shoe PRs. Oh, okay, so this is like quite quite good though for both of them. So yeah, can't can't complain. Alright, so after that we have the Tuesday stream. So Tuesday stream is the most exciting part of the day. Um because I can see that people are coming up. Okay, so 
I like very hot, uh, very hyped about it. Um, after this, we also have like the the new cards for the new support TV, which we can get straight into after this review, after this like the like this card skill. Uh, Goko Tai, so he's Goko Tai Kiwami. Uh, he's a Tanto card. So it's a great one and it's a common or it's a rare. I'm pretty sure it's a rare. Yeah, it's a rare. Um, when this unit is placed from hand to rear guard so cool, if your vanguard is great, three or greater, you counter plus one, look at the top two cards of your deck, choose off the two guard from one of them, put it on the top of your deck in any order, and put the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. So technically speaking, it's a quite a rather generic card uh, for most of the deck. Um, including Kiyom uh, no, Munechika as well. Munechika is also like something has OTD, uh, like in fact akin to an OTD. So he's pretty generic, you know, he's really generic. So you can probably like potentially play him in like a lot of uh, Tokyo Rambu cards. Um, like uh, Tokyo Rambu decks like Kiyomitsu, etc. Right? So we have Imano Surugi. Yeah, Imano Surugi is also like very, like very, uh, let's say, very memorable character. Although I really don't play Token Rambo, but I've seen, I mean, I've seen him like a lot, of, a lot of times in the past Token Rambo sets. So he's a, uh, uh, of course, he's in here. He's his K1 uniform. So we have the Tanto. He's in, he's Tanto. So he's a great one, and he's a triple. Ray? Oh, he's a double ray. He's a double ray. Okay, so he's a double ray, and he has a CC. Okay, let's see what he does, right? So when this unit moves, he solves us one, choose one of your vanguards and power gets 5k until the end of the turn, not end of the battle, end of the turn. If you choose a unit with Ewa Toshin, it's cut in this unit plus 5k until at the end of the battle. So you can just give the vanguard 5k, but if your vanguard is Ewa Toshin, he himself also gets the 5k for the boost effect. So quite good. And it's not once per turn. So technically speaking, if like if there's any other restand, uh, like cards that gives a regard to like restand, I think you can try to restand it and you can just basically do the same thing. But of course, it's give the Vanguard 5k as well. But until the end of the this doesn't really. I think you can just. You, I think you can uh, buff the effect. I think you can just like. Uh, how you say? Stack the effect as well. It's because it's not once per turn. So I assume it worked that way. Uh, so it's quite good. Uh, and then Rear Guard Shinken Hisatsu. Uh, at the end of the battle where this unit boosted, you retire this unit at CC1. Okay. Uh, you can can you try to like I think you can try to like proc the skill ones, but I think uh you can just retire this unit at CC1. I mean the CC is fine. So it's also a very good generic card for like a lot of like, token rumble cards as well. So whether or not it have like say I think was it like Kyong, so I don't remember already. Okay, it's either one of the great three cards that allows him to like restand and then uh so I'm not sure when this you can have to proc him but I think you can choose to proc him or not but I think I, uh, at the end of the battle you have to like retire him and CC one okay but I think still fine still good for the CC I guess um yeah all right so pretty pretty generic Kasenada Kiwami Sento so he's a Uchinada uh, Uchi Katana sorry and then we have uh same name treated as the same name as Kasena, uh, Kanesada Kiwami yeah I see Kasenada sorry I think it's Ka Kanesada sorry it's, it's there, sorry. When you just like have to brush through everything. Alright, so it's almost the same effect as like Kiyomitsu in general. Um, so if you perform Persona Rate and Resistance, you can play Counter Pass 1 for this cost instead. Uh, when this unit is then Ah, okay, now I remember. Now I know what it is. Okay, so I will briefly try to like um, correct myself there. Um, for the cost of like uh, discarding one card or like moving in for the Kiyomitsu, uh, like like the Kiyomitsu, so you can instead use it to pay for the counter plus instead. So technically speaking, I think Kiyomitsu can restand twice. Uh, not not re I think Yuki can restand twice. If I'm mistaken, yeah. Okay, so that's how it is. Okay, so I stand corrected for this one. So technically speaking, for that cost in itself, uh, like putting one card in the same name as on the uh, with the hand as the same unit from your hand or physical to soul you can play with counter plus one instead okay and this unit plus 10k plus one drive until the end of the turn so that's how it is supposed to go all right uh plus 10k plus one drive so he's on the bank card so yeah he's technically like swinging for 33k and a double crit no 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 33k and triple drive yes that's how it is 
Okay, so like continuous Vanguard will do the battle where this unit when where this unit attack. If you have a two or more victory cards in your soul, if Kane Sada in his card names, if your opponent have to call cards from hand to guardians ago, they must call three or more at the same time. So ooh, very scary. Yikes. Uh and the fact that he doesn't Oh okay okay. Uh yeah, it's something along like flag but not gonna lie. Uh, but three or one at the same time is gonna hurt a lot. So you just have to pray that you just PT and then just discard like two random cards there. So Okay, yeah, this it's quite good. Um whether or not he gets a restart, I'm not sure. He's a Uchi Gatana, let's see Uchi just to be sure. I want to see what does the Uchi Gatana crest do again because I'm pretty sure it's something along the lines of like um like you can restand one of your rear guards. Yeah, so you cannot really... Oh yeah, okay. I mean rear guards are scary, so he just doesn't really restand himself, but yeah, it's not that it's not that scary I guess, but the three cuts to that is pretty really wow, okay. Anyways, uh we have Mitsu Tada, Shoku Dagi Daikiri Mitsu Tada. So he's a Tachi card. Okay, so when this unit attacks, he's a triple rare Greek 2, okay. When this unit attacks, if you have a Vanguard that has a 23k power or more, this unit has 5k until the end of battle, so 15k attacker. If a Vanguard has 23 power, which is easily achievable with like a lot of like the crest and the persona rights. So that's about it. Um so auto rear when you're great shield greater Vanguard with Kanisada in his Kanin tanks. If that unit has 33 power or more, so last one restand this unit. Five attacks coming, I would say. Yeah, I guess like one, and then you can two, and then like kind of like, like three, four. You can think you can do like five attacks, but not mistaken. Or if it's like five or more, you can do that. like one, two, three, four. But yeah, I think you can do five attacks as well. So it's quite nice for the soul pass as well. Every stun this unit. Yeah, so it's quite good. So Kanisada uh, and Kanisada can actually like do punch attacks next to Nichika. So okay, so that's kind of like good. Okay, um. Sasanuki, which is punchy card, critical trigger, so they are all effect triggers. Okay, so draw triggers. So we have Nukemaru and Inab Inabago. So effect triggers for them. Uh plus the you know 5k shield. And after that, um Sh uh, Shichi Seiken, uh the seven star sword, okay. If I'm not yeah, if that like literal translation, so he's a spooky as well. Uh, choose one of your vanguards and it's uh if you drive check it and then you perform like one of the national following, you choose one of your vanguard and gets um plus critical plus one and then drive plus one. Very scary because if you have like Kane Sada attacking you technically can like increase the crit and drive plus one. So four drive checks and double crit, swinging for 33k and you have to guard three or more at the same time. Uh, like, I mean, mm, pretty scary, not gonna lie, okay? Uh, and choose one of your rear guards and that unit's perform drive check and gets one critical plus until end of turn. So technically, it's a mix of the Kettle OT and the Stoiki OT at the same time, if that's how it is supposed to be, or like something of OT. So drive check and plus one crit is pretty scary already on this one, so not gonna lie. Um, if you forgive me, my phone is just really there, so hold on for a bit. Okay. Um, uh, what else I can uh, say? Okay, yeah, so it's a pretty good OT, not gonna lie. Okay, um, that's how it is for Kerangu, and we are done with some Kerangu actually. Okay, now we have the card for the actually for. Um, I've been going on for 33 minutes already. Okay, now now we have the new TV cards. I would say for the for the orders as well. Um, so when this when your great or greater unit in the center column attacks, um. If you have a Vanguard with Ground Grace in his card name, the attacking unit does 5k until the end of the battle. Uh, so after that, the skill is that uh, plus n plus 5k until the end of that battle. So great three attack with Ground Grace in his card name. So uh, Ground Grace skill to to like probably want to fill in with those people who are not really familiar with um, with Ground Grace because Ground Grace skill is that. Um, you counter blast one and then you soul blast one and then you choose one card from your hand and call it to the center back row and can attack from the back row as well. And then the persona rank applies to everything. So it's like say for example you hold a like a 13k, so you'll be a 20k and then plus 10k, so it's a 30k, 33k. That's how it is. That's how Gangrace uh, works. Um, 
So attacking unit plus five k on the end of the battle. So his so technically speaking, let's say I use the example of that fifty three k and then plus five k. So he's gonna be swinging for like the center column. Uh, attack will be swinging for like thirty eight. So that's how it is. Um, pretty good. Um, so front row rear guard circle when this unit attacks. If you have a white guard with ground grace in his card name and your sent units in the center column attack two or more times during this turn, you will counter plus one. This unit plus fifteen k until the end of battle. Twenty five k attacker. So thirty five k during persona turn. So and you can just swing for like deuce and this. So I think you can do like one, two, three, four. This is like very big power now with ground grace. So it's really good enough for this one. Nice TD card. And then we have Purgatory Baron Hortis. Uh, Hortis is the Dark Stage, which is going to be in the Far Fleet one. So at the end of the battle, where this unit attack a Vanguard, if you have a Vanguard with Far Fleet in this card name, you put this card into your soul, choose one of your opponent's Rearguard and retire it. So something akin to like Far Fleet's uh, main phase retiring in back. Still the same thing uh, with like the Probo Red Tree, which that allows you to like CC one. So we have a lot of cards that retire from crafting, which is I'm kind of like happy with that. Um, so at the big at the start of your right phase, at the beginning of your right phase, if the vanguard with five new is cutting, you buy this card, you discard one card from your hand, you perform persona right, and you cannot activate persona right via other card effects all right until the end of turn. So really really good for five new as well so because like you don't really. Play the, you don't really have to play the card anymore so he is definitely a 4 off in front of you uh, so yeah that's about it so you cannot activate like persona right via the other card effect so the holy grail the regalis piece gratis card card is out of the equation so most people would not play this anymore so, or you can and you cannot write anything else after that so really really good I this is like the as a perfect player that you know like I I'm gonna like pre-order Fire already, so this is actually like very good support this time now. And I can imagine how expensive this card is for like those people who does not pre-order this card and like pre-order this like set. So instant fall off. I know a lot of people is gonna look like a lot of Fire Fleet players gonna look for it as well. And I think if you have like no no you can't play this in anything else, only Fire Fleet support. Okay. Pol Polar Six Dragon is for office, so he's a great tool. Um, when this unit is placed on the rear guard circle, if a vanguard with office in its card name, you soul blast one, you choose one full card in your drop zone with a different card name from the cards in the order zone and put it into your order zone. So, which is really really good because uh, for a few reasons, which I'm gonna get straight into it once I'm done with the skill burst. Okay, when, when, if this card is put in the rear guard, so put from rear guard circle or hand to the drop zone, during your battle phase, if your, if your world is Dark Knight or Abyssal Dark Knight, you draw one. So, really really good for like a lot of reasons okay i'll tell you why if you play habitable zone in office and you play this one as well the fact that you are able to like play up to three order cards in it uh, like in one entire turn so this is like super good uh the fact that you have a different name for example you have like uh, in uh into eternity, the, the, the great tree that gives like 5k. Let's say I'm gonna use that as an example. Okay, let's say if you do not have, but let's say for example, if your order zone has two great tools, that is the different name, and then you can search your deck for and then set one and then different names, and then you set it in your order zone, which is really really nice. Uh, the fact that you have habitable zone as well, um, it's actually like from your drop zone, okay, uh, like. Choose out the like drop zone and then put it in your order zone. And then if habitable zone, you get to find one uh, different set order and then just set two and then, like set one and then you can set two different uh, like two set orders per turn. So in total, you have like five set orders. And then let's say for example, you want to set one more from your hand, so that makes six set orders. Given the, in the hypothetical uh, like scenario, so office will be swinging. If you are like playing office ranges, for example. You'll be probably swinging for about like for every two cards, two order cards you get. So, Orpheus Regis is probably swinging for like 38k base without persona. So, quite nice. And you can call up to like three plant, uh, like not plant tokens, three shadow army tokens with this. So, this is like super good as well. And the fact that he when like he's cut the cost for like office, for example, like because I can see that when this unit cut is put from rear guard, um, from rear guard circle to the upper. Uh, or hand to the drop zone, which means that if you discard like the office, you can basically drop one without a cost. <laughs> so this is technically a very good card in itself. 
I'm really like this is like really insane card. I'm not gonna lie for like for uh Polar Six Dragon. So, uh, in addition to what um uh, what Office Masters is going to do in the near future, so it's gonna be like very really high, and I might expect that in this next GT Twelve, we might gonna have to expect a new World Order coming up soon. Uh, we don't know we don't know what. Will that be? But I have a feeling that they ever have to come on a new order card, like new world order card. If not, then it's fine because it's still kind, it's still very really good. Next Tuesday stream, we will review more cards from the uh, deck set as well. Okay, and that's about it. So that's today's card of the day. I'm not gonna go through it. It's pretty long already. So okay. Anyways, um, 40 minutes. Okay, I will end my video right here right now. I've been doing this for a really long while. Um. I kind of like everything uh, this reviews have been doing it so far. Token Rampo is getting really stronger this time around and it's really viable. So, Token Rampo is no longer like meme text or like that in the meta. So, by giving them crest, uh, by giving them the training tool, by giving them like a lot of good supports for like Hiyomitsu and whatnot, it's pretty there. It's pretty there. And it's potentially meta as well. So, in the near future, I can see my more people picking up. Uh, this deck so quite nice. I would I would love it. And the the rest of the TD cards is just okay on its own. I will yeah. So I'm kind of really excited for the next like reviews, and I can't wait to like you know I'm kind of excited to get party as well. So with that, I would like to end my video right here right now. If have you been enjoying my rambling for the past 40 minutes or so, I would like to say thank you for staying up with me up until this very point and I will see you guys on the next video, that will be it so thank you so much and I'll see you guys on the next video this has been Professor Zerina Fai Stanley